assalamu alaikum friends my name is muhammad yunus and i am Udo technical developer so if you haven't subscribed to our channel please click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon to get the updates of the upcoming videos in the previous video we have uh, discussed about how to customize the header or a footer of a qa pdf report but uh, the problem that we faced is that it changes the header and footer of all the reports for example I made changes for this one report but if I go to the sales uh, sales report and if I print it, it it just printed with the new customized header that I have added and the other problem is that if I go to the settings and change the layout of the report I the the header also changes but in this video I am going to resolve this issue and I am going to customize the header and footer for only this one report and it will it, it will not affect any other report and it will not change if i change uh, the layout uh, from the settings first of all we need to uh, find the xml code for responsible for this report and then uh, we need to uh, add or custom uh, code in the template so for this purpose in order to find this uh, like this code we need to first activate the debug mode and then we need to go to the settings under the settings uh, technical menu we need to go to the reports menu and here you need to search for that specific uh, report quotation so this is the uh, report so let me just this is the template id uh, that we need to search and it it is defined in the sales module so let me go to the uh, add-ons which is responsible for this and this is the sale module let me search it in this uh, and we need to scroll down so here is the template id which is responsible for this code so in this code uh, the like another template is called which is report sales order document so we need to search for this uh, uh, template so here is the code that is responsible for the template of the sales order so here uh, the the thing that is responsible for the layout of this report for the styling of this report and for the header and cus uh, and the footer uh, this external layout is responsible so in order to make a custom uh, layout for this report we need to first find out that what is the code inside this layout so in order to do so we need to copy this external layout id and it is defined inside the web module so we need to go to the web module so here is the web module and then we need to search for this uh, external layout uh, template so here you can see template id external layout so double click here to open it so this is the this is the template that is responsible for uh, creating the structure and the um, styling and the custom header and footer of all the uh, pdf reports but if we custom if we create our own custom layout and then call this custom layout here on this report then it will just give us a customized header and footer for this uh, report so in order to do so uh, we can just copy this code and then in our custom module so let me go to our custom module so here uh, we have a module with the name uh, open academy so here uh, i will just create a new module uh, for the sales customization and then i will come back i have added a new module with the name odo sales custom because uh, i want to make the customization specific to each module so in this new module i will I have just added a directory with the name reports and because I just want to add customization re related to the reports. So here I will add uh, like a report a reports report template dot xml and let me add all the tags that are needed like this. So and then uh, I need to add uh, the layout so let me just go here so let me just copy this code 
and then paste it here so this is the standard code i just copy the standard code and then paste it here i will just change the external id uh, like the id of this template which is uh, like for this one is for quotation you can say like external layout quotation and uh, here if is uh, you can see that there is a if condition which says that if the external layout is set then it should call the specific layout that is set but if it is not set then it should call the standard one so we don't need to add any condition because we just want to uh, call a specific template for the header and footer so let me uh, remove this one and just remove the condition so this is the external layout standard that we customized in the previous uh, video so uh, it should be easy for you to find this uh, external id in the web module because we have already uh, tried this a couple of times so let me just go to the file which i already opened and let me search for this template for example here so this is the template uh, which we need to copy so let me copy it and then i will explain where we need to make the changes so let me copy it so here uh, we need to change this one like the id so here it is quotation so we need to make it quotation so that it is unique and then we need to change the header section or the footer section so we don't need to change anything related to this section because this is responsible for the body of the report and it does not have anything with the uh, footer and header if we change this then it might disturb the styling of the report so here uh, in the header section i want to change it and i want to add my custom uh, header code so let me just uh, copy and paste it here so let me just remove this uh, header section code and i want to add my custom code here so this is uh, the custom code that I added and uh, this is the body code and this is the footer. So in this case, for example, I don't need to add the footer. So let me just remove it. And this is our custom code for the header section and the footer section. So we have removed the footer section, which we don't need, but it you can customize it as per your requirements. Okay. And then we need to copy it and then paste it here. and web should be the module name that uh, where you are making these changes so this is this is the second step that is done like first we need to inherit the external layout not inherit but we need to create the external layout and then we need to create a custom header uh, layout and then we need to inherit the quotation report so how we can do it like first we need to find out that where this quotation what is the external id of this quotation so for this purpose we need to go to the settings and then technical and then uh, reports reports and here we need to search for quotation so this is the quotation that is responsible and here is the external id so it is defined in the sales module so it should be easy for you to find this one I have already found it and here it is so we need to just copy this one in order to inherit it in order to inherit it just copy it sorry copy it and then uh, you need to paste it at the bottom you need to remember the sequence in xml because it executes from top to bottom so we have to call this external layout quotation in this report so therefore it should be at the top and the quotation template should be at the bottom so we need to inherit it so i will add inherit id here and here i need to add the module name which is where this template is defined so it is defined in the sales module so i need to define a, a unique id for this template which should be like report sale order document uh, we can say quotation like this and then uh, we need to use the x path to uh, replace this web dot external layout with our own custom layout like this one so for this purpose we need to use this uh, call in the x path 
So we can do it like this x path ex sorry ex pr and then t and then t call equal to web dot external layout and here we need to use position is equal to attributes so here we don't need to add, replace anything we just want to update the attribute of this call so we want to uh, update this one okay and this one okay so here i will add attribute name equal to t what is the attribute name which we want to update is t call and what is the new value here so it is od sales like our custom module od sales dot the layout id which is external layout quotation like this so this is the simple thing that you need to add and then we need to add this in our uh, manifest file uh, which i have already added and then we need to restart Odoo service and just upgrade the module sorry not update the module we need to install the module because the module has not yet been installed so go to the apps search for the new app first of all you need to update the apps list and then you need to search it and then click the activate button to install the new module so once the module is installed then let me just try to print the new report so here we got the new report so let me open it and here you can see that the report is a different one so here is the one that was developed in the previous video which was for the all the reports like this is only specific to this quotation report if we try to print uh like for example if you go to the open academy and if i try to print this report it will be the same because we have just added a specific header to this quotation template so you can see this is the old uh this is the old one we are which we have added in the previous video so if you find this video useful please give a huge thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos thank you